this bar shop. There's this place to move with them, and I have a goal of finishing reviewing all the Halloween movies before the end of the year. And I know for a fact that I will accomplish that goal. There are five movies left. I will be reviewing one today, and next month in June, I will only be reviewing a Halloween movie on Wednesdays. Anyway, what's notable about this Halloween movie is the fact that it's completely different from the rest. There is no Michael Myers in the movie, no Laurie Strode. In fact, none of the characters from the two Halloween movies that came before even make a cameo appearance in this movie. And you know what? The fact that this is completely different from the rest is something that I can applaud the movie for, for sure. I mean, there are only so many times you can make a movie about a serial killer who stabs you one by one before it gets old. Anyway, this movie is basically about strange shit going on during Halloween. Yeah, the movie still takes place around that time. That hasn't changed. Now, the first character that I want to talk about is Daniel Chalice, played by Tom Atkins. Now, what I appreciate about this guy is that he is totally different from the characters of the other movies. And he is also a very fucking smart guy. Despite all the murders going on, he is not scared in the slightest. In fact, he does everything in his power to find out exactly what the hell is going on. And he will stop at nothing to solve the mystery. You know, I like the fact that this movie focuses on a guy like that. A character who is not afraid of the villain and wants to stop him. It's a fucking awesome trait for sure. Now I'm gonna briefly talk about the villain in this movie. He does slowly kill people one by one by poking them in the eye. But there is more to him than just that. And since this is a spoiler free review, I'm just gonna leave it at that. And the fact that he's completely different from Michael Myers is something I can appreciate about this movie for sure. Now this is a horror movie and the main intention of a horror movie is to be scary. And is it scary? Fucking hell yeah! This movie is scary as hell! If I can predict a death happening, it's not scary as I see it coming. But this movie has absolutely none of that. All the death scenes in this movie are totally different. And I saw none of them coming. Another thing that makes this movie absolutely fucking scary is that I don't understand what the hell is going on. And that is a good thing because I don't want to figure that out. The scariest kind of horror movies out there are the ones that are full of mystery. And this one is for sure. Now then, there is one other thing about this movie that I really like that I want to talk about. And that's the fucking song. The song goes something like this. Eight days till Halloween, Halloween, eight days till Halloween. Silver Shamrock. This song is so fucking catchy and I'm never gonna forget it. Which is also a statement that applies to the movie overall honestly. I'm never gonna forget this fucking movie because of how different it is from the rest of the Halloween movies. Now it's time for my overall thoughts. This is hands down my favorite Halloween sequel. And yes, I love it more than the 2018 movie. That movie is good as well. But I fucking love about this movie the most is just how fucking creative it is. Now of course, it isn't nearly as good as the original 1978 classic. There are very few horror movies that surpass that one in quality. But it still is the fucking best Halloween sequel. And for that I'm of course gonna give it a rating 2 thumbs up. Okay, only 4 movies to go and they will all be reviewed in June so look out for that. You have reached the end of the video, thank you for watching, have a great day.